Well, that was a good little session. Uh, we had a few different birds turn up. 
Um, just got a flock of uh, red browed finches turning up now as I, as I speak. So this is, I'm very fortunate to own a property in northeast Victoria. It's very dry at the moment. However, there are some good birds on the property. Uh, this little water spot I've got, um, it's a natural, when there is water, the birds naturally come here. There's, um, but as it's dried out, that, in, that dries out. So I have to bring water down. At the moment, I've just been bringing it in buckets, which is less than ideal. I need to put a more permanent solution uh, which I will do in due course. Uh, it's not the ideal spot for taking photos because it's in a bit of a, a valley or a little bit of a gully and uh, it's hard to get the distant background. Um, so I heap of little finches down there. So yeah, it's hard to get that background separation that I'm after and there's also quite heavy shadows first thing in the morning. So I can't shoot here straight away. I've sort of got to wait for the sun to get up. So I've only really got probably an hour and a half uh, shooting window at this location. But there's some good birds that turn up. As you can see today, we had a few good ones. So the white-winged trillers are around. Uh, the male's black and white and the female's brown bird. And we you know we had a few little finches and the odd honey eater uh, turn up. So uh, it's a good spot. We, there were no diamond firetails today, which is a highlight of the spot and babblers as well, but uh, maybe another day we'll get those. Uh, but it has been very hot, so we've got a few birds about. Uh, the, the setup that I used today, you would have seen me put up a couple of perches, very basic, uh, just a couple of sticks off the property. Um, it's ideally the one that I put on the, the left with the two branches, that didn't work. The bottom branch it's too big and the birds were landing on the end of the branch and I couldn't take a photo because I'd cut it off so in theory I should have just broken off the top part and just used that so maybe next time I'll do that but using water is definitely the easiest way to take photos of birds because once the birds get used to the water they'll just keep coming uh, coming back and you can put up some perches and they'll often land on those perches before dropping down to have a drink could definitely go to a lot more effort in the type of perches that I use. I've just used those stick ones. So my good mate Jan, who's been doing a number of YouTube videos, he's the master when it comes to perches and perch setups. I'm nowhere near his level and I don't quite have the patience or the skill yet to implement some of the perches that he, he uses. So I just revert to the, what's easy and that's just uh, sticks. So, um, and the birds land on the sticks pretty regularly. So I'll just put a couple of those up for a quick session, um, maybe further down the track I'll, I'll make the effort and use some nicer perches. But um, So if you're interested in what camera I'm using, I use a Canon 5D Mark IV with a Canon 500mm and a 1.4 extender. That's been my kit for a number of years and uh, does me well. Um, I'd like a little bit more reach of course, but it definitely works well for my purposes. Alright, so what I'm going to do with these videos is the first part of the video, I'll just record me going around taking photos, which is what I like to do. Uh, I probably won't talk too much and uh, we'll do a heap of different type of stuff, so landscapes, uh, mammals, butterflies, birds, probably predominantly birds and landscapes. And uh, once I've finished the session, I'll have a piece of camera, so I'll talk to the camera about how the session went. As I mentioned, uh, you know, I really love taking photos and Hopefully I can share that journey with you guys and you'll learn some things and feel free to ask me questions below and I'll do my best to answer those. And uh, if you want to continue seeing this sort of content, if you want to subscribe, uh, that would be fantastic. I would appreciate it. And I just do this for the joy of it. So hopefully that shows. Well, if you made it this far, thank you very much. You might be interested to know the next video is going to be a tutorial, I guess, on how I go from the field to the final product. And I'll show you how I process things in Lightroom and then in Photoshop. So if you want to see that video, make sure you subscribe. It should be coming out uh, midweek. Thank you. Take care.